Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the problem with having too many options or choices. So just before I start this video, please consider subscribing as I really, really, really enjoy watching my subscriber count go up. But anyway, the problem with having too many choices or options. Recently, I've been reading a book. Actually, it's a fiction book called Anxious People and it's incredibly well written. But within this book, there was this part that really resonated with me. An old man was talking about the younger generation and how they have so many options these days in relation to dating and getting married that they just keep second guessing themselves and they keep wanting more and more and they're not happy with what they have just because there are apps now with so many different choices of people that you can be you're just wanting to keep getting better and better and this really really resonated with me not just in terms of relationships but also with everything in the world if you take the generation before us or the generation even before that they were given very little choices and they had to make do with these choices. And this really does carry through to all of life. One very good example that I had and I always give to myself is apartment viewing. Sometimes when you just know an apartment is great, you should just go for it. So from experience, one time we're looking at apartments, there's this apartment that we really, really liked and we thought, oh yeah, we should look at other stuff. Even though we really like it, we should look at other things. and. Of course, as you could guess, by the end of the day, the apartment was taken up and then we felt really, really bad about it. So why didn't we just go for the apartment that we really liked? That's because we had too many choices and too many options. These days, we want to get the most out of our money. We want our money and our time to go the longest way, which is not always the best way to look at things because not everything in the world is about gaining and returns. Some things in life are more than that. There are many components to life that makes a well-balanced life. So the apartment example that I've given to you if you keep looking for better and better, oftentimes you'll miss your opportunities. Or if you move into an apartment and you know there are more and more choices, you're just going to think that, oh my God, I should have gone to the other apartment, the other apartment's bigger, the other apartment has a better kitchen, the other apartment has a better toilet, whatever it is, you're not gonna enjoy the moment. And life it really is about enjoying the moment. So next time you have so many choices, just remember that going over the choices and having too many choices is not the best option. For some reason, in today's world, we live in a world where we have lots of apps and lots of choices between apps and this actually overcomplicates our life more than you'd ever think. If you're quite young and you were born into this app era, this application era, these or these mobile device era, you might think that having a lot of choices is actually very normal. However, humans are not actually designed to have so many, many choices. Let's take, for example, a technology manufacturer who's done incredibly, incredibly well within the past two decades. This is Apple. And one of the reasons for their success is that they choose how the end user will actually use their products. So one of the things going from Android to Apple ecosystem is the fact that there is such limited amount of choices you can make and customizability on your iPhone, on your iMac or anything else on Apple device related. This is because Apple has thrived themselves into making technology simpler. And to make things simpler, you take out some of the choices. For example, there used to be a time where you could only buy one iPhone and literally there's such small amount of customization you could do to this iPhone. And basically everyone had the same iPhone, but it was so good because you know what you were getting. Conversely, the Android scene is so, so, so complicated because there are thousands and thousands of devices doing everything differently. So the amount of choices is just overwhelming. It's actually not good for the consumer. It's actually worse. And now going back to relationships, one thing in the previous generations and the generations before that was arranged marriage. And today, arranged marriage might seem like the worst thing since before sliced bread when they didn't have sliced bread. But if you think about it, our parents and the parents before them may have had some sort of arranged marriage. This is a choice already made by you and instead of thinking about, oh my God, I can get a better wife or a better husband somewhere else, you had to deal with the choices that were made for you or the lack of choices that were available to you. And so people lived happy, happy, happy lives. In many cases, they had very good marriages, they had love for each other, they had children that grew up to be successful or whatever they valued in their children. But if you had introduced choices to them then, life would have been so complicated and they would never have lived in the moment and they would not have enjoyed the journey and the process which is pretty much one massive aspect of life as it is. Another example I just thought of is the menu on a restaurant. Like think about it, how many times have you actually had the same thing over and over again even though you go to the restaurant so many times? The amount of choices they add to it doesn't really make a difference to what you're going to enjoy and this is why I wanted to make a video today to really like drill it back home if that's even a saying. 
that choices are very deceiving. Having lots of choices is not going to help you necessarily. One part of life is actually dealing with what the choices you have made and moving on. Whether it's a house that you're buying, whether it's a phone that you have, sometimes you just have to deal with what you have at the current moment. Of course, that doesn't mean you shouldn't strive for change and personal growth because you should always be developing. However, if you are too set on trying to improve every aspect of your life, there's going to be no stability and eventually you might lose yourself in the choices. And so therefore you'll be spending your time thinking and contemplating on the choices instead of living in the now. So that's what the video is about. And next time you come across too many choices, just go with one choice. Make a decision for yourself because that can often be something that would really help you in the long run. So remember, choices are good, but they're not everything. So stop dwelling on them. If you've enjoyed this video, please press like and please comment down below and let me know what you think about having choices. What is the worst choice you've made and what's the best choice you've made? Please consider subscribing to this channel as I'm really trying to gain my subscriber base because that's what everyone does on YouTube. <laughs> and as always, thank you for watching.